This is the Apollo 10 crew getting ready to leave behind Snoopy, the lunar module. This was an important step before the crew could return to Earth, but it didn't quite go as planned. As the explosive bolts released, it blew a hole in the lunar module's hatch. This caused all of the air to rush out, making Snoopy shoot off much faster than expected. In the blink of an eye, the crew lost track of the now abandoned spacecraft as it went into the sun's glare. This was the last time the lunar module was ever captured on camera. A few hours later, NASA lost track of the spacecraft and its location remained completely unknown for decades. But in 2018, astronomers discovered an object flying by Earth that might just be this lost lunar module from 1969. But where had it been this entire time? In this video, we're going to look at the crazy journey of Apollo 10's lunar module and how astronomers might have managed to find it after 50 years in space. We'll also be giving away this Apollo 11 poster, so stick around to the end of the video to see how you could win. Over the course of the Apollo missions, a total of 10 lunar modules were flown in space. Two were used for testing around Earth and eventually burned up in the atmosphere. On the famous Apollo 13 mission, one served as a lifeboat for the crew before also burning up in Earth's atmosphere. The rest were purposefully crashed into the moon after successfully completing their mission. But Apollo 10 was a bit different. Designed as a rehearsal for the upcoming Apollo 11 mission, Apollo 10 did everything apart from actually landing on the moon. Once in lunar orbit, astronauts Thomas Stafford and Eugene Cernan descended to just 15 kilometers above the lunar surface. After testing out Snoopy's systems, the bottom half of the lunar module was ditched and eventually crashed into the moon. Now with just the top half, the astronauts returned to the command module and prepared to leave Snoopy behind. But after releasing Snoopy, it disappeared behind the sun's glare and the astronauts lost track of where it went. Because it was following the same path as the crew, NASA was worried that its orbit might come back and collide with the command module. However, it still had a lot of fuel left over. And so, instead of letting it crash into the moon, NASA decided to fire its engines and send it on a trajectory far away from the astronauts. Snoopy continued burning until it ran out of fuel a few minutes later. Despite losing track of it initially, the astronauts on board the command module actually saw Snoopy performing its burn. This was the last time Snoopy was ever seen by humans. Many decades went by and astronauts started to look for the abandoned spacecraft. But in order to find Snoopy after 50 years in space, they needed to know exactly where it went after leaving the moon. Searching for an object in space is extremely difficult, but searching for a good discount isn't thanks to PayPal Honey, the sponsor of today's video. Honey is the number one tool in America for online shopping. It automatically searches for promo codes when browsing your favorite websites. Shopping for good deals can feel like a daunting interstellar quest, but with Honey's little button at the top of your browser, you're just a few clicks away from unlocking exclusive deals and discounts that you might have never found on your own. With an average discount of 18%, you'll be able to put even more of your savings toward your own suborbital trip to space. Or at least upgrade your telescope and look for Snoopy yourself. I recently saved $50 with cashback on these earbuds. Adding Honey to your browser is completely free, and with its advanced algorithms, you'll never want to shop without it. Join the hive at joinhoney.com slash primalspace and start exploring a universe of savings today. To understand where Snoopy went after its burn, we need to look at how the Earth and Moon were positioned. The Earth orbits the Sun counterclockwise at around 30 kilometers per second. The Moon orbits the Earth counterclockwise at around 1 kilometers per second. And so, relative to the Sun, the Moon also moves at roughly 30 kilometers per second. The Apollo 10 crew were orbiting the Moon clockwise, so in the opposite direction to the Moon's orbit around Earth. When Snoopy did its final burn, the Moon was around here, on the Earth's trailing side. This burn added an extra 1 kilometers per second to its Moon velocity, allowing it to escape the Moon's gravity. But because this velocity was in the opposite direction to its motion around the Sun, Snoopy's speed relative to the Sun was now slower than that of Earth. This burn effectively slammed on the brakes, 
while the Earth and Moon carried on as normal. This meant Snoopy now had a little bit less velocity to fight against the Sun's gravity, and so its orbit got pulled in. Now traveling mostly on the inside of Earth's orbit, Snoopy was completing its lap around the Sun quicker than Earth, once every 342 days. This meant it started to race ahead of the Earth and slowly pull away. Snoopy continued racing around the Sun for another 15 years before it finally made a close flyby of Earth. When this happened, Earth's gravity pulled on the spacecraft, changing its orbit ever so slightly. We know where Snoopy went after it left the Moon. The problem is, all of this is based on just a few days' worth of data after Snoopy separated, and every future encounter with Earth would have changed its trajectory, adding much more uncertainty to its location. But knowing these uncertainties allowed astronomers to limit their search to a specific part of the sky. But this was no easy task, since astronomers would have to search for a 4-meter-wide object in an absolutely massive area of space. Nonetheless, finding Snoopy became the holy grail for astronomers, and it was only a matter of time before they found something special. According to the predictions, Snoopy would have made several close encounters with Earth, with the most recent one being in 2018. That is when astronomers discovered this very faint object flying through our night sky. Initially thought to just be an asteroid, astronomers became suspicious after analyzing it a bit further. Asteroids typically have a more oval-shaped orbit, on a plane that's tilted compared to Earth. Initial calculations of this object showed that it had a more circular orbit around the Sun. On further inspection, the orbital plane of this object wasn't tilted, but in fact perfectly matched the orbital plane of Earth. This meant it was more likely to be something that originated from Earth. The object was also moving at a very similar speed to Earth, whereas an asteroid would usually have a much greater speed. Another important giveaway was the object's brightness. Astronomers had calculated what an object with Snoopy's shape, size, and material would look like at various distances, and the light from this object seemed to match that. Amazingly, astronomers discovered this object when it was 55 million kilometers away from us, but this meant it was too faint to really analyze. In the past, NASA was able to identify a long-lost Centaur upper stage using spectroscopy observations. This works by measuring the light from an object at different wavelengths and determining what material it's made from. Different materials will absorb and reflect light at different wavelengths. By comparing these spectroscopy graphs with materials here on Earth, we can identify what material the object must be made of. This object is too far and dim for us to perform measurements like this, and we will have to wait until 2028 for it to make another flyby of Earth. Only then will we be able to do spectroscopy observations and confirm if it really is Snoopy. Snoopy is the only spacecraft once occupied by humans to still be traveling through space. Despite going off on a crazy journey 54 years ago, the laws of physics mean that it will continue to call home every now and then. Perhaps in the future, we will have the ability to retrieve the abandoned spacecraft and finally bring it back to Earth, where its crazy journey all began. And now, time for the Primal Space giveaway. The winner of this awesome ISS LEGO model is Alan Cardenas. Congratulations! But don't worry if you didn't win, in the next video we'll be giving away this amazing Apollo 11 poster. All you need to do is sign up at the link below and leave a comment saying what kind of condition you think Snoopy would be in now. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.